Deadpool and Wolverine is just about to hit theaters in about 10 days and definitely you might be knowing that this is that kind of a movie which requires some of the prior knowledge of X-Men, some of the prior knowledge of MCU and it won't hurt you and in fact it will help you if you watch some of the movies prior to watching the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. That means in this video we will be looking at some of the concepts or some of the movies that you need to revisit before watching Deadpool and Wolverine. By the way if you are thinking that you need to watch all of the X-Men movies and all of the MCU movies, no. that's not the case. In fact, there are a handful of the X-Men movies that you need to watch but a large amount of the things that you need to understand before watching Deadpool and Wolverine actually comes from the MCU. So yeah, this video is dedicated specifically to the people who are going to watch Deadpool and Wolverine but who haven't followed the X-Men uh, very religiously or who haven't followed MCU post Endgame because I know a lot of my friends have stopped watching the content coming out of the MCU after Avengers Endgame. But on the other hand, if you are someone who have watched all of the X-Men movies and all of the MCU movies as well, you can also watch this video because why not? Alright, so let's start with some of the concepts that you need to understand before watching Deadpool and Wolverine. So the first concept that you need to really understand is the concept of Void. Number two is the concept or just understanding the entity Alath. Number three, Variance, the concept of Variance. And number four, the TVA, Time Variance Authority. And you will understand all of these four things or all of these four concepts from Loki Season 1 and Loki Season 2. Now, if you're thinking that Loki season one and Loki season two, both of these seasons will eat up a lot of time. Yeah, they will, but it is necessary for you to understand all of this in order to watch Deadpool and Wolverine because if you watch Deadpool and Wolverine directly, I'm afraid it will be a very difficult thing for you to understand all of the happenings that is that will happen in the movie. Though I'm sure that they must have done the best job that they could to explain everything in the movie itself. But yeah, it won't hurt if you watch all of this. But the fifth concept that I think would be very, very integral to the character of Wolverine in this movie is going to be the concept of incursions and to understand the concept of incursions you need to watch Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness because in this movie we definitely get to understand the concept of incursions and we also get to understand the concept of variants as well and how I mean everything related to variants and what variants could lead to incursions and all those things. So basically these all were the five concepts that you need to understand before watching Deadpool and Wolverine but what about some X-Men movies? So there are a lot of X-Men movies and you literally really don't need to watch all of the X-Men movies though you might be tempted to watch all of these movies just because to understand every character in the movie Deadpool and Wolverine but let me tell you even the most religious fan of X-Men and MCU won't get every reference in the movie Deadpool and Wolverine or he or she won't get the exact cameo in the movie Deadpool and Wolverine because it's just too much. There are a lot of X-Men movies and I say just watch these three to four X-Men movies and you will be good to go. First definitely watch the X-Men movie that came out in the year 2000. That was the first X-Men movie which obviously introduced us to the character of Charles Xavier, to the character of Wolverine and all the X-Men's who are likely to feature in this movie as well just as cameo. But definitely watch the first X-Men movie then you have to watch the movie Logan because Logan was the movie which you have to say that it ended the X-Men saga though there was a movie after that as well but most of the fans think that Logan was the perfect end to the character of Logan as well and to the character and to the whole X-Men universe. So definitely watch Logan because in the movie Logan will definitely see the death of Wolverine. Now this is not a spoiler. I mean even if it is but you need to understand that that this movie Deadpool and Wolverine the Wolverine that features in this movie is not the Wolverine from the 2017 Logan movie no that is not the same Wolverine because that death of Wolverine in the 2017 movie was so iconic that while making Deadpool and Wolverine they literally said that we are not going to touch the death of Logan in the 2017 movie so this is where the concept of variant comes into play and therefore as I said it will be really helpful to you to understand the concept of variants so yeah basically at least watch the first experiment movie then at least watch the Logan movie and then obviously watch the two Deadpool movies which are really fun to watch but watch it alone. But now is that it? Is that enough to watch the movie Deadpool and Wolverine? <laughs> I say no because Deadpool is a character who will crack real life jokes in this movie because Deadpool breaks the fourth wall and he will definitely take a dig at Fox, he will definitely take a dig at Disney as well, maybe some other movies of MCU or some other movies of X-Men as well. Well he 
he he will do that he will definitely do that so therefore it won't hurt you if you are aware of all the happenings in pop culture in the past year or two so if you have that kind of a knowledge so yeah that will be a lot of jokes which will tickle you up in this movie but now what if if you are someone who have seen all of the mcu movies all of the x-men movies but you still need a refresher on all of these concepts that we discussed earlier don't worry in a day or two i'll be uploading another video in which i'll be explaining all of these concepts in detail and as simply as possible so that you don't need to rewatch all of these movies but But as I said, if you are someone who haven't religiously followed MCU and X Men, so it won't hurt you to watch all of these movies to just get the flavor, to just get the vibe of the movies, and also understand the concepts as well. So yeah, that's all I want to talk about in this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.